Marissa and Shauna and today's video is gonna be the top 10 things you can do about climate change. <laughs> Woo! Climate change is bad. Let's stop climate change. <laughs> this is a little impromptu song I just made up. <laughs> So recently we went to the GCAS summit last week in San Francisco with the United Nations Foundation, which we love our yeah, UN love fam. Them. And we learned so many things about climate change and helping the environment, helping the world, making it a better place, and like little things that we can all do to help make the world a better place because that's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> So we wanted to share with you guys some of our tips, some things we learned, some of the footage from the event, which was awesome. There were so many like senators and like prime ministers and fancy like people there. Oh my gosh, it was an amazing event. I feel like we both learned so much that we wanted to bring and share with you. Yeah, I've never felt so unimportant in my life because I'm like, <laughs> I'm not a prime minister. <laughs> But yeah, so we wanted to share some things with you guys because we know that you guys are really passionate about helping the animals and the earth and the planet and the environment and the air and everything. So coming at you with our tips. So thank you to the UN Foundation for sending us to the summit and always supporting our channel and encouraging us. That's a kiss for you guys. <laughs> and make sure and give this video a thumbs up first 1,000 likers are gonna get a wish. It's gonna happen. Panda fam wish only for the first 1,000 thumbs up, sirs. And subscribe if you're not already. And also comment your favorite hack down below that we shared in this video. I'll tell you mine at the end. <laughs> On to the hack. So one of the highlights of the trip was talking to Aiden, Aiden Gallagher. Yeah, I know. I can't believe he is only 14 years old. I know. I would think he was like 18, like, because he's so smart. He's so mature. He's so smart. Anyway, Aiden's been a vegan for a few years now, and his big takeaway is to have a meatless Monday, so to not eat meat one day of the week. Yeah. Yeah, and you definitely don't need to be a vegan or vegetarian just to cut back like a little bit of your meat intake. And cutting back slightly can help reduce greenhouse gas emissions worldwide and it can reduce like the worst effects of climate change. So you don't need to like cut it out completely, just reduce it a little bit, one day a week. So we talked to some Olympic athletes. And don't forget that while your parents might make a lot of rules, you can also influence them a lot too. So have more conversations with your parents because they can go. And then while you can't, you can kind of, this is your chance to tell them what to do. Yeah, I don't think it's ever too early to get involved in our political system and understand what's going on, who our representatives are within the city you live, the state you live. Protect our winners. <laughs> So if you can't vote yourself, you can still encourage older relatives to vote. Yeah, pressure old people to vote. <laughs> yeah, actually, so food waste is a huge problem across America and around the world, actually. And if you store, like one quick tip is storing your fruits and vegetables at the bottom of your fridge because it's the coldest place on your fridge and it keeps them uh, good for longer. Also, another little tip is that you can actually wrap salads and herbs in a damp paper towel to prevent them from drying out and keep them much fresher. Everything. So bananas, this is a really interesting thing. You know, I have a, bananas is the world's favorite yeah. fruit. I have a real uh, love of bananas. And I actually went, I was lucky enough many years ago to go on vacation to Costa Rica and went to a banana plantation and learned that a banana takes three months to go from the tiny banana to the bananas that we get and we can enjoy today. That little banana has taken three months to get to your fruit bowl. So you better not be leaving it to go rock yeah, and throw it away. Yeah, very true. Because <laughs> that banana has, has worked for you. You better very work for true. it as well. Mm. So think about the food that we all waste. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's such a shame. So bananas take three months or longer to grow, and that's a lot of time. So when your bananas turn a little bit brown, don't just throw them away, because brown bananas actually have a higher level of antioxidants than yellow or green bananas, and they're also way easier to digest. So if your bananas are like really, really brown, then you can actually turn them into like the most incredible, delicious banana bread or banana muffins. And this is a great hack if you love banana bread like I do. Okay, so this is one of the weirdest but most favoritest 
hacks for me. I know most favoritist isn't a word, but it reminds me so much of the Lion King, Pumbaa and Timon, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> but it is to eat bugs. Okay, and eating crickets is actually an amazing source of protein. But you might be thinking like, why not just eat meat instead of crickets, because meat has protein too. But crickets use only 1.7 pounds of feed to produce, um, whereas chickens use 2.5 pounds, pork uses 5 pounds, beef uses 10 pounds of feed to produce one pound of meat. So crickets, it's a very like sustainable protein. Mm -hmm. It also takes a thousand gallons of water to produce one pound of whey. 216 gallons of water to make a pound of soy, but only one pound of water to make a pound of crickets. So not only is it saving a ton of water for the environment, it's also saving like a ton of grain and feed. And I know what you might be thinking, like, ew, gross, I'm not gonna eat a bug. But these chips and cookies were actually surprisingly delicious. Like, what did oh you God. think of the cookie? <laughs> They were so good. They honestly didn't even taste anything like I know. What I would imagine. Because I you think like you're gonna get big chunks of like bug in your cookie or chip. No, they just tasted like normal cookies. They kind of tasted like the chips ahoy ones. Like yeah. crunchy. To me, they tasted a bit coconutty. And they oh. were really good. They they had chocolate chips in them. And then the chips, there was like three flavors. There was cheddar, sriracha. Barbecue. Yeah, and barbecue. And we both like sriracha the best, that yeah. little spicy kick. But who would have thought guys crickets bugs maybe one day we'll eat like cricket burgers or something I don't know. Well, I just think about those bugs that are in lollipops. Yeah, yeah. those are cool They're cool aren't they just like in the Lion King. Yeah, Hakuna, Hakuna Matata <laughs> So we all know that driving cars emits tons of carbon dioxide as well as greenhouse gas emissions into our air and you know it helps to pollute the air, which is obviously not good. So try biking or scootering or even walking. Um, and if you're going somewhere that's like too far to walk, then try, you know, using public transportation or even like Uber pool or Lyft line or something. And when we're going somewhere like Usually within like two miles of our house, we'll try to walk like if we can. And this is like a great way to stay fit, burn some calories, you know, exercise, and also, you know, help the environment too. And Marissa says we try to walk when it's within two miles, but actually when we were at the summit in San Francisco, we walked a total oh of my gosh. over 25 miles over three days. There was 25 one miles. Day, there was one day where we both walked over 10 miles. I know, my legs. My legs were quaking. But like it wasn't even I don't it know, wasn't that, that bad, bad though. Like you could definitely walk. I know. More. I was so fit that day. No. <laughs> and then went back to not walking. No, <laughs> just kidding. So use a reusable water bottle instead of a plastic one. And then there are actions that you can take uh, uh, yourselves as well, just in your own lifestyle. I mean, if you kind of go and get you know, a fancy coffee every day, do you need that plastic straw? Because you know where that's ending up, don't you? That's ending up in probably some poor sea creature in the ocean probably killing them and destroying our oceans. You don't need that. Do you need the plastic packaging that comes in? You probably don't need that either, so avoid it. 80% of the plastic water bottles we use end up in landfills, so try to use a reusable one. We got these really cute ones at the summit, which are great for keeping your water cold too and don't waste any plastic. Okay, so reusing food, which might sound really weird, but is a great way to help the environment. So an average family of four people in the US throws away roughly $2,275 worth of food per year, which is like insane. That is so much money. Like think of all the money you could be saving if you just threw away less food, you know? And I know we mentioned earlier that like I love making banana bread when my bananas get brown. And another thing I like to do is like when my vegetables start to get like, you know how when they get a little flimsy and shrivel up a bit, I like to turn them into a huge delicious pot of soup. And this is a great way for the vegetables to, you know, stay good longer. Um, and also it's like a great way to make a ton of food. So, you know, if something's getting a little bit old, don't just instantly chuck it in the garbage because it might not be bad. Like, you know, 
So try and reuse your food. Try not to waste as much, throw as much away because it's not good. You're throwing away over $2,000. Stop it. And you're a good cook. Yeah, I am a good cook. I'm just like too lazy to cook, but <laughs> I am a good cook for the record. You make good fettuccine Alfredo. I do. I make great pasta. <laughs> Come to my house and I'll cook for you. So another thing you can do is pressure your local politicians to step up and help enforce laws that will protect the planet and protect the environment. By putting pressure and added responsibility on people in power, we're taking a stand and letting them know that they need to help protect our society. Yeah, stand up! <laughs> I just wanna go up to a politician and yell, stand up! In their face. <laughs> but yeah, no, seriously, because when you think about it, it's like, you have to vote them into power so if they're like they have to be elected yeah exactly so if like they're not doing anything for the environment and they're just like killing our planet they're helping to kill our planet that's not good and so we gotta make it clear yeah i mean politicians are there to serve the interests of the people and if you let them know that climate change and protecting the environment is something you care yeah. about then they have to step up yeah got no choice so thank you guys so much for watching our video on how to help climate change and little things that you can do to help save the planet. My heroes, my panda fam heroes. <laughs> so comment down below what your favorite tip was. What was your favorite? I think, oh, okay. Well, I really liked Aiden's tip because it's something that I feel like was such a small tip. Like it's not saying yeah. you can never eat meat again or you have to be a vegan. It was just like, hey, go without it one day of the week. Yeah. You know, it's pretty easy to do. And also crickets. Crickets. Was that, that was what you good. were gonna say? No, actually my favorite was just how the bottom of the refrigerator is the coldest oh, part. Just yeah. because I was so shook when I heard that. Like yes. I never knew that before. I never would have known that. Shook to my core. Cause like, yeah. I mean, like, who, who knows? Who knows thinks that? of that stuff? Like, I just think like the fridge is the fridge. It keeps everything equally cold. Like, I don't think yeah. like, oh, the top, the bottom, the middle, yeah. the sides, the little door. But yeah. So next time I have something that's gonna go bad quickly, like strawberries, I'm gonna put them in the bottom. Put it in the bottom. Put it in the bottom. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, give this video a thumbs up. First thousand thumbs up. Gonna get a wish. Do you want to? have a million dollars it's gonna happen just kidding <laughs> <laughs> just kidding just kidding but you will get a panda fam wish from me Mwah. love you guys and subscribe if you're not already and thank you again to the un foundation for sending us to the summit it was seriously like the trip of a lifetime we learned so much we met so many incredible people and just got to see so many people speak and it's like to like be an ambassador for the UN and it's like Emma Watson's an UN ambassador. It's like so crazy to me and it, oh, I just love them so much and so thank you to them and bye guys! Bye!